Still on complex numbers, but this time around, we'll talk about the Moivre's theorem. All right? If I have a complex number in polar form, z equal to arrow cos theta plus i sin theta, and I want to determine z to the power of n in polar form, which is equal to arrow cos theta plus i sin theta all to the n, the Moivre's theorem states that z to the n is equal to arrow to the n, then in brackets cos n times theta plus i sin n times theta n theta. This is the Moivre's theorem. I want to determine 3 cos 35 degrees plus i sin 35 degrees all to the power of 5 in polar form. I'm going to make use of the Moivre's theorem. 3 times cos 35 degrees plus i sin 35 degrees all to the fifth is equal to 3 to the power of 5 times cos 5 times 35. 5 times 35 degrees plus i sine the power of 5 times 35. Three to the power of five is 243. Five times 35 is 175. So we have cos 175 degrees plus I sine 175 degrees. All right? This is it. If Z is equal to Minus 2 plus 3i determine z to the power of 6 in polar form. All right. This is the complex number on an argon diagram. So let us determine the polar form of this complex number, first of all. Uh, you know, the polar form of a complex number is z equal to arrow cos theta plus i sin theta. Arrow is the modulus, theta is the argument. And the argument is measured from the positive real axis down to the line. Remember what we did in the previous video where we talked about polar form of a complex number. So you can do well to watch that video to understand in details how to convert a complex number in rectangular form to polar form. The modulus is the positive square root of a squared plus b squared. a is minus 2, b is 3. That's minus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Minus 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. So the modulus is the square root of 13. We may not need to break it down to obtain a decimal. Okay? So what is the reference angle here? The reference angle is the tan inverse of B over A. B is 3, A is minus 2, but we are going to make use of the positive of the 2, plus 3, plus 2. So the reference angle is the tan inverse of 3 over 2, 3 over 2. And that is equal to, to two decimal place, we have 56.31 degrees, right? This particular reference angle is an angle in the first quadrant, and our complex number is in the second quadrant. So to obtain the argument in the second quadrant, which is theta, we have to subtract this from 180. And that will be 180 degrees minus 56.31 degrees, which is equal to 123.69 degrees. Therefore, the polar form is z equal to arrow, which is root 13, cos theta, 123.69, plus i sine theta, 123.69 degrees. 
Remember, we are looking for z to the power of 6 in polar form. z to the power of 6 by de Moivre's theorem is root 13 to the power of 6 times cos 6 times 123.69 degrees plus I sine 6 times 123.69 degrees. Root 13 to the power of 6 is 2197, 2197, cos 6 times 123.69 is 742.14, 742.14 degrees, plus I sine, the same thing here, 742.14 degrees. This is z to the power of 6. But this angle here, 742.14, is greater than 360 degrees. So let us look for the smallest positive angle by subtracting 360 from it. So let's subtract 360 from 742.14. And that is equal to 382.14. It is still greater than 360. We we'll subtract 360 again from it. What is it equal to now? 382.14 minus 360 is equal to 22.14. Therefore, Z to the sixth in polar form is 2197 cos 22.14 degrees plus I sine 22.14 degrees. If we still decide to take this result to rectangular form, it's still possible. Z to the power of 6 in rectangular form would be 2197 times cos 22.14 degrees, which is 2035 to the nearest whole number. 2035. It's actually 2035.005855. So this is it to the nearest whole number. Then plus 2197 times sine 22.14 is 827.9856. Okay. You can say to two decimal places times this i we have i times 827.99 827.99 okay so we can leave it like this it depends on the way we want to leave it okay so this is it in rectangular form and this is it in polar form thanks for watching i hope you like the video subscribe like and share to your friends and to your classmates i'll see you in the next one